Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I feel like I've been gone for the longest time. Um, I was in Canada, I was in Toronto, Canada, Ontario, 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 Ontario. I, I always get confused. We actually drove there. Oh my god, don't even get me started on that drive. I love road trips, but sometimes they can be a little too long. <laughs> anyway, while I was there, I went shopping and I thought I'd do a haul for you guys. I only went to Bath and Body Works and Lush. Well, I went to a lot of different stores, but I only bought stuff from Bath and Body Works and Lush. So I'm just gonna show you guys what I got. I love watching these kinds of videos. They're just entertaining, so I love seeing what's in stores and what people like to buy and stuff. So I just thought I'd show you guys what I bought. I hope you guys enjoy watching. Please don't forget to like the video, subscribe, and share it if you think you know anyone who might like these kinds of videos. I actually wanna see if I can get at least 20 likes on this video. And just to see if I can get 20 likes, like 20 likes aren't that bad, right? <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, so I'm gonna get started. Um, I'm gonna start with Bath and Body Works. I got all this in the mall in downtown Toronto. I'm not sure what the mall's called, but it's just like this big mall in downtown Toronto. But yeah, let me get started because I always talk too much. So I got two candles. I love Bath and Body Works candles. I love like their designs. This is what the top looks like. I honestly took forever to pick what candles I wanted. I started off with four that I wanted and then I'm like, you know what, that's four's too much. So I just decided to get two. But I literally spent like an hour trying to figure out out of the four which two I wanted to take with me. So I ended up picking a pumpkin cupcake and blueberry pumpkin strudel. They were on sale so I feel like I got a pretty good deal. I don't remember exactly what it was but this this was just like the fall scents. They were already bringing in their winter collection, so I think they were just trying to get rid of their fall stuff. So I got these two. They smell so good. This one's the berry pumpkin strudel. I'm not gonna try and describe it to you because I feel like I don't know how to describe it, but it's like a sweet scent, like a sweet and clean scent mixed together. I didn't put anything on my lips. Should I put something on my lips? I'm gonna put something on my lips because I feel <laughs> I feel weird. Okay, I put it on, it's a little sloppy, but whatever. The next one is the pumpkin cupcake. Oh my god, this one smells delicious. It smells amazing. I wish I could like transport the smell through the camera into the internet and then like it shoots out of your phone or camera and you smell it too. <laughs> but yeah, it smells really good. It's really, really sweet. Oh my god, I love it. But yeah, I got those two. So their soaps were on sale too. I don't remember, I think it was like three for 30 something. And we were out of soap, so I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna get the Bath and Body Works soap. Even though I could've just bought any drugstore soap. But um, I bought three, the first one is the Warm Vanilla Sugar. This is the Gentle Foaming Hand Soap, so this one foams up when you like, press it. This is just like sweet, a sweet smell. You guys are not gonna get any description from me. I'm trying, but I, I don't know how to describe these to you. The next one is the Sparkling Mint Blossom. This is also a foaming soap. Okay. It has a description on it, so I don't have to describe it to you because I suck at it. Okay, this says a chilled mint blossom dipped in powdered sugar. Oh my god, it does smell like mint. I think this one's my favorite. I love this one. And the description for the other one was rich creamy vanilla sprinkled with sparkling sugar. But I think this is just like the one they have year round. And I think this is like a holiday edition. And the last one is winter, winter white woods. And it says white birch and juniper berry wrapped in warm vanilla. Smells really good. This one smells like winter, like Christmas. <laughs> but yeah, that's it. Those are the only three soaps I got. Now I'm gonna struggle to decide where I should put each one. Like one in the kitchen, one in the bathroom, and one in the guest bathroom. So I'm, I don't know how I'm gonna choose which one goes where. Cause I just suck at making decisions, but yeah. Okay, and the next thing I got from Bath & Body Works were these scent portable car air freshener vent clip. We got one for the truck and for the car. We got this one, which is like a like a goldish, silverish one. And you just clip it, it has like a little clip and you, I think you put it on your like little air thing in the car and we got a black one and then for those we got these four scents they come like this like little thingies I think you just slip them in so we got flannel which smells like guy this one smells amazing it smells like cologne like man cologne so does mahogany teak wood <laughs> I swear you put this on and it smells like it's like a guy's bedroom where some guy walks by you I feel like these are those two that smell like guy that smell amazing oh my gosh we have the stress relief eucalyptus spearmint I really like this one I love the way it smells and then mahogany coconut which I really like as well so yeah those are the four cents we got for the car now we're gonna move on to Lush. I got quite a bit of stuff. This is my first time ever buying something from Lush. I've always seen it on YouTube and stuff, but this is the first time I've actually been in the store. So I got a couple things from there. Lush is like a, I don't know if you guys ever heard of it. It's like handmade cosmetics 
stuff for your body it's supposed to be like organic fresh ingredients preservative free vegan like all this cool stuff so yeah this is the mint juleps lip scrub it comes in a bunch of different flavors and this is supposed to be edible actually so it comes like this in this little pot you just grab some and then just use it to exfoliate your lips and it works really well to exfoliate and at the end you can just lick it and eat it I don't really eat it, I'll lick it a little bit but I'll just wipe it off The next thing I got was this charity pot This is a body lotion In store you can try this stuff on like they come and they give you like a little hand massage and they apply the products that they're selling and the girl she put this on my hand because she was talking to me and she was like oh let me try it and I felt kind of embarrassed to be like no because like I told you guys I think I've said in a previous video I hate that oily feeling you get from lotions and I was gonna be outside the whole day and I didn't want to have that on my hand the whole time but um, I just let her because I felt bad saying no so she just put the lotion on my hand and she was talking about it and 100% of the proceeds go to grassroots charities which I thought was great this is a body lotion it says a sweet delicately floral moisturizer that supports grassroots charities made with up to seven slush fund ingredients by buying charity pot you support good causes like International Wildlife Rehabilitation Council which is awesome I love that that. And this is what it looks like inside. So yeah, back to the story. She put it on my hands and I was like, oh man, I'm gonna have this oily stuff all over my hands. I found a sink and I just like rinsed it off a little bit and then dried my hands. My hands were so soft. Oh my gosh, like after that I was like, wow. Like I was so pissed off that she put it on my hands, but it made my hands super, 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 super soft. But yeah, I really love that. And I need to start using moisturizers. I don't use moisturizers. Every time I get like a tiny little scrape, it turns into a scar like right away. Even if it's, if it's the tiniest little thing, I don't know if that has any Anything to do with moisturizing but I thought I'd get a good moisturizer so I got that one the charity pot and the next thing I got was this ocean salt self-preserving face and body scrub it says sea salt scrub with organic lime to brighten and avocado to soften this is what it looks like it's so cool I needed an exfoliator and I wanted to try this one it smells good it smells like a like an alcoholic drink <laughs> I don't know why but yeah, so I had an exfoliator, it was just some drugstore brand, and I left it open under the shower. The water dissolved all the particles that are supposed to exfoliate your skin, so I'm like, man, I ruined the whole body scrub. So I saw this one, and I decided to buy it. And I like Lush, I feel like it stands for a lot of good things. It's fighting animal testing and all these different things, which I think is great. And then my boyfriend got some stuff too. This is like a handmade soap, and I think it's for your feet. It's supposed to like moisturize if you have cracked heels or cracked feet or something. It's supposed to be really, really good for that. We were talking to the lady about it and she recommended this for us. It smells good. And then this is like a little soap holder and inside it's a massage bar. It's supposed to relax your muscles. It smells like, like cinnamon. But yeah, this is what it looks like. When it touches your skin, it melts. So that's what you use to massage. And then we bought this little tin to put it in. And yeah, that's it for my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with whoever you think might like my videos. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!